Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I am playing some Rocket League, and I am going to be using the Aftershock, which is a new car that has just been adding in the new DLC or the Collector's Edition that they just added. Um, basically, how you get this, uh, it's come out in Europe, but it hasn't quite hasn't quite come out in America yet. But if you use a website called G2A, which is a very secure website, you can buy the Collector's Edition early. So that is what I did, and I have all the cars, so I will be making a short little series with my first impression of, well, all the new cars. So, this car, I will be doing ranked as well. Um, I'll do doubles, because solo standard is just embarrassing. This car, very cool design to it, looks like plane, sounds like a plane, which is really, really cool. And it has pretty much the same hitbox as the Dominus. So it's a it's a good car. It's I personally think it's one of the better two out of the four cars that were added. I like three of them, I believe, out of the four. One of them is just a little bit too slow for me. But uh so we're gonna be posting a video of all four and my first impression video, like not for, but like a video of just me playing with all four at the same time and comparing, contrasting them. And then I may do a car face-off with um, two of them, or one DLC car and one normal car. So I may do like this in the Dominus because they're supposed to be very similar. But we'll see. Uh, so I'm Challenger Elite right now, which, I mean, isn't particularly that high. But it's to the point that you can play, you know, some decent players sometimes. So I think for each of these videos, we'll do I'll do one game per car. Basically talk a little bit about it, what I like, what I don't like. I love the sound. That's one of the things I do love. It sounds like a jet plane. Uh, the look is amazing, and just the fact that this car that looks kind of like this has the same hitbox as the Dominus amazes me, and is really great. Because it may have the same as the, said to be the same as the Dominus, but it kind of looks like it has a little bit of like a octane hitbox to it. Like it, it's a little bit lower than the octane, but it, it has kind of like a little bit sloped in the front. The one thing I have to say is it does have a point in a very tip point in the front, which can be useful or can kill you. It's just something to get used to. Um, oh, well, that just happened. That was a great bounce. Oh, is my teammate going to get... Nope, he's not. That's my fault. It just hit that corner of the map there. Corner of the, like, little goalpost. Um... Also, uh, other news, I'm getting the Vive, I believe, tomorrow, so I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos with virtual reality and stuff. Uh, I'm going to do my first impression, well, first I'm going to do the unboxing and the setup, and then I'll also do my first impression video. And those three videos should be actually with my girlfriend, so that should be interesting. Um, it's a little treat for you guys, because she's excited for the virtual reality as well. Oh shit. Oh, okay. It's a cluster. And I, I messed up. Just listen to it. Listen to it purr. So, um... As you know, um... Tim, who... You guys probably know a lot about him and have seen me play with him many times. Uh, he is using this car now. Not, like, mainly, but pretty decent amount he said it probably will be his, his main car I mean I like it a lot personally I've been using the Dominus now and it's it's pretty great it's pretty similar and it has a little bit of an octane feel to it so maybe I'll be switching to this car as well this might be one of my favorite ones that they've released I don't know it's hard to hard to say because there's two cars that I really like so I may compare them as well, because they're very comparable cars. Eh, I thought I'd be able to fake them out a little bit there. Now let's see what he does. Okay, my teammate did not have a good angle on that whatsoever. 
Oh, no. Okay, good. Oh. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna leave that. No? Okay. A little confusing. Again, Challenger Elite. <laughs> I mean... I don't know what's going on, truly. Oh, come on. Yep. Nice shot. Okay. That, uh, was interesting. I'm still using keyboard and mouse, trying to switch over to controller, but for this I really can't use controller. You guys won't really see too well of what I'm, like, playing. So, I basically, for the new cars, what video should be coming out is a, like, first impression of all of them. Did you guys see that, that lag that I just got there? It was miserable. Um, a first impression of all of them, and then, uh, basically me playing one game in all of them. Um, the first impression videos will be all separate videos. Uh, the game, me playing a game with all of them will all be in the same video, and then, basically, this car, and I believe the other one's called the Marauder, I will do, uh, car face-off with them, and then probably, uh, some car face-offs with them versus, like, older cars that's been around for a while. I mean, well, technically, these car, this car has been around longer than uh, most of the cars in the game now. But oh, he hit me! What a dick! We have the lead here. Also, hopefully, we go up in ranked a little bit. I want to try up to get up to champion pretty quickly in this season, but we'll see what happens. That was actually a really nice hit off the car. I may stick at this because I really do have problems like uh, debating between the Octane and the Dominus because I really do enjoy both cars and it really does depend on the day. But this car is a little bit of a hybrid, which is nice. Hmm. Close. And sorry if my, like, speech is a little bit off. It is, like, 3 in the morning. That should have actually came out, but... I don't know if that was in the first place. I, I don't know. I thought that should have came out. No way. I don't have no... I should have not done that. Okay, let's see. Oh, of course. The one kickoff that I cheat up on. Well, that was something else. <laughs> he just humped the ball. I hit him into the ball and then dribbled it right in. <laughs> That was, um, okay. That had to be one of my more interesting goals in Rocket League. <laughs> I think he's just sitting back queen for me. Oh, I came up. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I went for it in the first place, but whatever. It worked out. Alright. Well, this has been a pretty decent video to get for you guys to see what the um, Aftershock is like. Very much do enjoy the car, though. It does play very nice. It does play a lot like the Dominus, though, I must say. I can tell that the hitbox is very, very similar. Hmm. No, it wouldn't let me off. <laughs> Let's come down and hit it. Alright, that's it. Alright, so... This has been one game... With the Aftershock and my first impression. Uh, my first impression is I like the car very much. And I do think it's one of the better cars released in this update. Very similar to Dominus, but it is a little bit of a hybrid between the Dominus and the Octane. Oh, look at that rank difference. Um, definitely recommend getting it and I will put the link to GTA in the description so you guys can get this early uh, the website's very good very trusted a lot of people use it 
Um, uh, overall, I like the aftershock, um, and it's cool. The so it makes cool noises. Uh, the plane's cool. The whole design of it is very cool, and the hitbox is very very nice, especially if you're accommodated to the Dominus and. If you do like the Dominus and Octane both together, then this car may be the car for you. So, this has been my first impression, and I will see you.